So since my last video guys, some serious progress has been made here. I've um, essentially made a bit of progress with regards to uh, how I'm doing this um, hull extension or the widening of the hull. Uh, a lot more work to be done there yet. So eh, every time I come back to it, I get a different idea how it should look, what I should do, how, how I'm going to do it. So I basically uh, do a little bit, go away, come back, have a different idea, different approach and start again. So here we go. As we get towards the back of the boat, you'll notice something significantly different. Look at these things. These big bad boys. So they've been bolted on. That's a temporary measure at the moment. Sometimes in life, you need that little bit of uh, encouragement. You need to do something that um, gets you motivated again. So I was struggling with a bit of motivation. So what I decided to do was let's bolt these outboards on. Now, all of the structure is done. This is as strong as I've got the structure on the inside of the boat nearly completed, but I got it to the point where I could bolt the outboards on without being worried about um, uh, it causing any problems. But there we go. So in, the, in this video that we're going to have a look at now, I'm going to show you how I put this uh, duckboard on, um, how I did my cover seal and everything else, and how I tabbed it all the way around. You'll see on the back here how I've done the tabbing up 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 the back of the boat and I've also done the tabbing up the front here so that I can lock that on now I've done flow coating over the top of it as well but I'm gonna have to redo that because we've been walking up and over this uh, duck board and as you can see it's pretty messy now so I'm not worried about that not worried in the slightest about that at all um, so I've got to redo that but that's fine so there we have it hope you enjoy this video uh, and that's just another part of the progress of, of this boat and this, this rebuild. When I put the cabin seal on, the underside of this dark board sits perfectly on top of uh, those bulkheads and it glues them into position and holds them down really well. I've got to do some tabbing down these sides once I've done all of that, all the way around. I've got to come up here as well, make sure I lock all of that in. So that's a process in itself. What I'm doing now is I'm uh, mixing up some cabasil. I'm getting it ready to lay down over the top of all of these bulkheads. And then I'm gonna essentially put the duckboard down on top of that and I'm gonna screw the duckboard in. Now, when I say screw it in, I'm not gonna be leaving those screws in there. I'm gonna take them out. They're purely there to give it enough time to make sure that that um, the cabasil goes off and locks the, the, the duckboard into place. We get a nice structural bond there. Off for a second, I just can't wear it. You can probably see them flying around, I can see them in my peripheral vision. This bit's a bit low, so I've got to put a bit more cab on there.
sides, uh, down the sides and up the back and essentially what I need to do is is um, do my radiuses around here so I can get that glass to fold up nice and neatly around around the transom so I'm going to use a couple of methods I'm going to use my uh, sticks my tongue depressors and I'm going to use the um, plastic from the ice cream containers so guys what I do is Paris rated scissors. And strips. Typically these are about 15 to 12, 20 millimeters wide. That. Put it up in along the finger and use it as a scraper to get your radius or a scraper to scrape up all the excess. Worst tree. That off for a second guys while I talk so I just basically put the plastic behind my finger I'll put my finger in the plastic there and it helps to just basically form that really nice radius there see how that's flowing really well I should have brought a rag up with me clean off as I go, hopefully I'll get enough time to come back and do that. Right. Got a bit of a breeze here and everything so I'm getting into the sun here so gotta be careful I don't get that cabasil in the sun because it'll tack off very quickly. Right. Something else that I do too guys is um, dip my brush in a bit of acetone come through and clean up those rough edges try and get a very neat very light action very light just let it flow there you go that will clear that slow down the curing process but have a look at how neat that is in the finger like that and just there we go Scoop him up. It's a great scoop too. Nice little hack that one, isn't it? So then I'll have to glass up over the top of that and really strong fixture there. There we go. Get my brush. Oopsie, I've got some paint on that. Bugger. Oh, well, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Plenty of room up here. Brush, nice and light. Cleaner. There we go. Oh, uh. yeah. 
happy with that. That glass will flow nicely around there. I'm gonna get up to that other side over there now. Oops. Mm -hmm.